Mike's on. Mike's on. There they are. Hello. Welcome back. We're rolling on with the bracket. Tayo versus G Mo. Gorilla Mo. Mo just going dock right off the bat. Doctor. So yeah, G Mo, he's got that old school AZ flair. Always love seeing him come out and play. Oh, Tayo coming up a little bit short. Gmo right where right where he wants to be, having stock advantage. Start building up some damages now. Doesn't really matter if he trades, as long as he maintains his lead. And this matchup, while it's still technically Fox favored, it's pretty good for Doc because uh, up throw up air is more or less off the table. It still exists. Um, it's just not a guarantee. It's not a true combo. It kind of it turns into a mix-up. But Fox uh, definitely has priority advantage in a lot of ways. Um, basically, up smash will beat neutral air approaches. And up smash will beat uh, pretty much almost anything that Doc does. Well, no, a miss wave dash. And now Chimo still maintains his lead. And then wanting up smash. And there you go. Fox, even. SDs don't matter. So yeah, the tricky part for Doc is basically just finding the, the finding the spots where Doc can basically take advantage of landing lag or jump squat and get those approaches where he can get grab opportunities. Uh, Doc does have really good grab combos. Oh, very nice edge guard by Gmo there. Doc has really strong grab combos and anytime Doc can force Fox off stage, uh, Doc's edge guards are pretty strong with back air walls. And so that's going to be the general goal. Well, no, really high up B, but fortunately, Fox didn't punish. But fortunately for Fox, uh, Gimo did not re grab when he dropped the second time. Fell to his B. And so Fox now, basically, and pretty much always an advantage in this position because at any point, you know, you get a good shine. If Doc messes up, Fox shine spikes are devastating against Doc because uh, Doc doesn't really have an amazing recovery. Um, in terms of like raw distance, both vertically or horizontally. And jumps out full hop, Kate. And Gmo's still gonna close that out. Game one. Yoshi story. Um, I'm not sure I agree with this against Doc. Um, this really helps Doc out a lot because the, the big problem Doc has is actually the ability to run around a lot. Granted, yeah, his recovery is is bad, but like that's the whole point of usually going to a big stage. Uh, well, big stages can help Doc's recovery if he DIs up. Um, the idea here, though, is that Doc will kill a lot earlier and. Uh, they have less room to run as Fox, because usually the, yeah, the most of the problem is that Fox is going to camp you, uh, not the other way around. Doc can't really camp Fox that well. They play defensive, but no one in really, no one in the game can really, really effectively camp Fox because Laser is just really strong, and Fox is, you know, among the fastest characters in the game. There's, there's a lot Fox can do to build up percentage before actually committing to a hard approach. And Fox is so fast that at any point, uh, camp can turn into an approach. Had nice dash attacks to uh, pick them up. And Demo is able to bring it back, but still down a decent amount of percentage. Crowd cancel is fall off the table soon. Not now, no. And oh, nice back air call ends up beating the up B. Although I think that high up B was going to fail regardless because I don't think he was going to be able to land on stage with that. And back air space, dab checks, and grab into forward air. Not quite enough to kill, but close. Uh, I'm talking with the rising forward air that kept him from being able to just uh, land and try to follow with that back air that he wanted after he saw that he went high. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... Oh, that four tilt, then sorting, squeaking right through it. 
Little down air cover. Down smash safe on block. It looks like it was tempered. Back air. Oh, hit 69, but Pill takes him out of it. And I think he touched up again. Yep. He throws the pill the other way and still recovers. Ooh, down tilt. So confused Fox. Fox dies in his own confusion. I'm pretty sure that was probably what it was meant to be a down smash, but definitely worked out. So we're on last stock again. At 0%. Mentability gone. Ooh, missed Waveland. Gmo just trying to get damage on Fox so that he can open up some other options. Here we go, gets a grab set up, goes for a back throw at zero instead of up throw or down throw. DI's in, gets a grab, uh, up throw this time doesn't pay off, landing on platform. Doc doesn't have much that can really hit hard and then rolls into the up smash. And so Tayo on the board, 1-1. Gmo probably gonna take him to FD. Not sure if he's gonna stay Fox or he's gonna Fox Ditto. He's going to FD, seeing if he's gonna stay. And there's gonna be a swap. We're gonna see a Marth. Fox Ditto. All right. Fox Ditto on Dreamland. Just kidding. All right. So. Gmo, definitely, uh, that was his original main. I think he just wanted to try out his dock, see how it fared, and uh, decided to just uh, go with his, his strongest pick and, and just try to uh, win the ditto. But let's see what Tayo has. Nice high back air to cover, but not able to follow up with that touch. So now I think, uh, yeah, three basically reset back to neutral. And Gmo oh, had advantage, but grabbed just a smidgen too early. Pretty back and forth right now. Uh, no one is holding holding the advantage whenever they get the touch. Gmo or sorry, Tayo drops that edge turn, but is able to keep it keep it going. Nice, gets a touch on 4B, but doesn't get the follow up on the tech chase. So yeah, lots lots of drops happening. And Fox did those. Those are pretty important. Is like Fox Fox is supposed to blow himself up. And if you're not doing that, then you're giving more opportunities for the other person to eventually get it. Tayo got a couple good hits, and Gmo on the ropes. Tayo holding, holding good tempo right now. Gmo goes with a classic up throw back air, and back air, and I don't think he touched. And so, ends up taking the stock. But 60%, not super good, but if he can get a really good grab in the center of the stage, then he can still do some chain throws. It's a soft back here, but can't follow up on it. Too slow to follow up on the uh, long 4B2. Gmo makes it back to center, up throw, we're in center, drops it. Um, that 4 air, I'm not sure if that was meant to be a jump cancel grab. Or if you wanted to actually hit with the 4 air, try to get follow up. And Tayo accidentally air dodges and dies. Smiles about it. Up. Definitely not feeling not feeling too worried, I think. And yeah, he's got tempo right now. And he up tilts and if he calls those up tilts, I feel like he should have just down smash. And, well he gets a four tilt, close out, we're an even game now. See how Gmo uses invincibility. He gets a back air for it. Nice grab, up throw shine. Uh, doesn't get the cheese. And woo! Tayo very quickly denying ledge and ended up getting a pretty decent punish on that, but couldn't keep him off stage. Nice walk up forward tilt, or some walk up up tilt. And a forward tilt. And a TSC. Oh, Gmo still in a lot of trouble too far. Oh, no! And, and Tayo throws away his lead. So now we're on last stock. Winners round one. And let's see if. If Gmo's experience is going to be enough, or Tayo's going to be able to keep his cool and maintain the uh, competitive advantage here that he had. Just throughout the set, I think, and then the Ditto right now, I think Tayo had the advantage. Gmo in a lot of trouble, he gets double shine, it's back air, and back air, and this is going to be really far, and a roll. And that's it. Tayo.